Hey everyone, this is Dan from the Blair Watch Project. You normally see me with somebody's Seiko in hand or a watch I'm trying to sell on this channel. But today I'm going to do a little quick review. This is not a paid advertisement. This is certainly not something that anybody else decided uh, to ask me to do. It's all on my own. I'm a fan of uh, disruptors, people who come onto a, a scene and decide, hey, I've got a cool idea, let's try and implement it. And that's just what we have here. Sheffield Watches was a watch that you know I know I started looking at early on in my watch collecting days as cool vintage dive watches. And that has inspired someone else. So I'm going to tell you a little story today about a watch I received in the mail. Um, I'm a fan of Spike's Car Radio, and I like to listen to podcasts about cars and Porsches and watches. And I think Jay uh, from Sheffield Watches encompasses all those interesting attributes of what watch design and, and cool style should look like. So I'm going to tell you a little story about a watch that I purchased from Jay. I'm going to compare it to the watch that I have in hand, which is a vintage Sheffield. And I'm just going to take you through some of the stuff that, uh, that I think is quite cool about this new brand. Um, I'll put a link in the description below to, uh, to Jay's company and the watches that are available to you right now from him. Uh, but now I'm just going to go over to my bench and we're going to have a look at some pretty great uh, examples of dive watches. Well, today I'm going to do something that I've actually never done before. This is a new, a new thing for me. I, um, I don't even have a Seiko in my hand at the moment. I have, I have what really got me sort of started into thinking about dive watches. Um, I, like many in this watch hobby, um, first, first began my adventure with watches that were probably at the lower, lower end of the scale. Um, not many of us start off with a Rolex uh, or a Omega. Um, and I think that's true for the person that I'm going to be talking a little bit about today. Um, a person that decided to take a classic and bring it back. Um, so I have here, this is my uh, Sheffield All Sport that I purchased quite some time ago. It's a fun little watch. It was what got me sort of going on restoring and uh, playing with vintage watches. And there were a couple different versions of this uh, with different movements and different, um, different setups. But this was really sort of my, my starting point uh, in the watch world, was looking at low cost watches that I could buy from eBay or buy from the internet uh, and take apart, learn how these things worked. And um, that, that was really uh, the beginning. The beginning of the Blair Watch Project was with watches like this. This is the watch you could go to, you know, J.C. Penney's or Sears or one of the one of the retailers of the day. Look at the counter and find yourself a cool Sheffield. The look and the feel of this watch was was really um, an inspiration, and in fact, uh, an inspiration for uh, a gentleman that has really brought these watches back. So Jay Turkbus, if you go to his site, and I'll bring it up here in a moment, uh, decided that he really was looking for a micro brand that he could, he could get going again. And what other place to start than with a watch from his past? And I'm so glad he did this. Uh, this is not paid. I bought this watch with my own money. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to open up for the first time. This is steel sealed from Sheffield Watch. I'm going to unbox this watch and give you my, my impressions of the watch. We're going to open it up. We're going to have a look at it. We're going to see how it compares to the original and um, just kind of just kind of go through and, and see what Jay has brought to market. 
Alright. Right. So there's the watch. Here's the paperwork. Alright. Thank you very much for the purchase of this Sheffield All Sport 1A. Please remove the protective films from the crystal. Alright. Tells you how to operate the watch. Whoa, so cool. Jay, look at that. All right, so really just so nice. Look at this. Wow. I mean, the, the amazing thing about this to me is that in terms of uh, inflation adjusted dollars, you know, this $15 watch from 1970-ish is at the same basic price point as this 2023 watch. I think I paid uh, $180 and I got this. Look at that. That is phenomenal. Look at that case. All right, so let's have a close look here. Let's see what we've got. How you would actually produce a watch for $180 and bring you something of this, this quality. I mean, wow. All right, so let's do the peel. Very nice. Okay, look back here. All right, so we've got another protective film. Take that one off. Okay, so what's it say here? We've got a 20 millimeter lug width. We've got the all sport, water resistant, 20 atmospheres, 200 meter, sapphire crystal, stainless steel, 316L. It's got an NH35 Seiko movement. So that's cool. I mean, just the movement alone, I'll put in a little clip here of the movement. That's going to cost you at least 50 bucks if you try and assemble this watch yourself. So we got a screw down crown with lug protection. So cool. Yeah, that's definitely... Look at that. Hand winding, automatic, so great. Good case width. Let's do it. So it definitely has all the styling cues. Broad arrow on the minute on the hour hand. You've got a smaller arrow on the sweep. You can definitely see the AR anti-reflective coating on the this definitely has a perspex of course size wise we're much much bigger in the new watch but that's the way things go these days unidirectional ISO standard so your bezel only turns in one direction it's got 120 clicks two clicks per minute pretty nice all right, let's screw that crown down. Well, side by side, you can see the heritage, right? You can see where this is coming from. A little bit more of a scripted Sheffield um, than the original. This was a hand winder. So you got a few hours, maybe a day and a half, two days of power reserve. On this one, NH35, I think we're we're at like 50 hours, perhaps, power reserve for an NH35. I'll have to get some details on that for sure. Wow, 20 millimeter. This is definitely 18, I think. This is on a, this is a 19 millimeter. So, I like the shape. We got drill throughs. Easily get this, a new strap on here. Comes on a nice pliable uh, rubber strap. All right, let's look at the performance. Let's have a look and see where we are. Okay, well, as you can see, this NH35 movement is really strong. 
it's it's running amazingly well. You know that's um, that's accuracy that you often don't even get from from Seiko. They they don't come very well regulated these days. Um, I bought some new watches and they they are not this good. Um, this may be a bit of a fluke, um, but I have to say. 300 degrees of amplitude, zero seconds per day with no beat error. Ah, you can't get better. For a $180 watch, where are you going to find better performance? I don't think I know. Yeah, maybe a quartz watch gets you a little bit more accurate than this, but, um, but for mechanical movement, pretty good. Well, I think I've exhausted all the superlatives that I have uh, about this watch. You know, I think what I can finally say is I think the market was looking for this. You know, the watch market is crazy. Let's be honest. Um, during the pandemic, things went a little bit bonkers. And it's nice to find somebody and a brand and a style that speaks to, you know, what we want. We want affordable. We want cool. We want design. And... This is really that full package. I am, I am really glad I found this. Um, and I think that, that if you go on to the website for Sheffield Watches, you'll find that this is hard to get. And there's a reason. I think the reason is people want this style. And they want what Jay has to offer. It's honest. This is not a mod. This is not somebody taking you know, uh, uh, an SKX or, a, a, you know, some other Seiko watch and turning it into something else, turning it into some sort of tribute or homage to, uh, to another brand. This is a brand all its own. Yeah, it's, it's constructed of components. You know, these are, these kinds of uh, Tropic straps are available, NH35 movements or you know, you can buy them by the crate. But to be honest, the style and the design, that's unique. And that's what people want. And I think I think that um, you know this is this is a great a great starting point for Sheffield. And I, I hope that they have more coming along. I know there's a Spikes Car Radio um, you know tribute watch or or design watch uh, that Spike and Jay worked on together, and that's really cool. Um, I look forward to receiving mine. But um, you know, go check out this company. I, I'm a big fan, and again, this is this is just me. So, thanks for watching.